you've got six under your belt now, six more to go. Finishing second, you've got to feel good. Does that give you confidence? I mean, you've been doing this a long time, I know, and so do you still feel like a confidence boost when you come in, you get a second like this? Are you looking more forward to next weekend, knowing that you can be up there on that box? Yeah, I, I can. I feel good about it. I think that I can be there. Uh, you know, James is, is uh, you know, all due respect, is a little bit of a question mark right now just yeah. because he's willing to push it so hard and, and you know, Got nothing but respect for the guy. I don't. I know a lot of guys got to be coming down on him because every time he hits, you know, he's getting hurt and stuff. But and that's what happens when you're going as fast as he is. And then, you know, Chad. I think that, uh, you know, he's kind of a question mark too. Sometimes I think that he's he's kind of steps up on that tier of the of the top two guys. But then other times I feel like, uh, you know, some of, some of the uh, you know the you know Davey obviously has had a, a lot of podium uh, rides this year, and you know I've had two now and. Uh, yeah, I feel like I feel like I can at least get to them. You know, Ricky, I don't even think about right now. And, and James, you know, like I said, I don't, if if he's healthy and on two wheels, I don't really think about him either. I don't, right now, I'm really focused on on riding my riding my own race, and it just gets to a point where I don't think about Davey Millsaps. But it seems like no matter where we start, no matter what happens, at the end of the day, we're going to be together. I mean, it's just the way it goes. And um, you know, I'd like to move it on up. You know, I'd like it I'd like to start seeing that same thing with Chad. And you know, if I could ever get to the to the front of those guys, then I would be looking for them too. I mean, there's always someone to look for. And, Unless everyone just retires and goes away, you yeah, know, I'll still be around. So maybe, I'll, maybe I'll be destined for the podium due to retirement from all the top <laughs> guys. Go. But which actually that that was led me to to one more final question. What are your plans next year? And do you, how do you feel about Ricky being here versus not being here? Does that change your your no um, outlook? Not really. You know, I mean, Ricky's Ricky's done uh, done incredible in his career, and uh, you know, if, if you look at how many times I've been, I there was some statistic. I don't even know where it was, but. If you look at how many times I finished second to him, the guy's cost me millions and millions and millions of dollars. So <laughs> I should be really ticked off at him. But you know, he's yeah. just—he's a, a great rider, and uh, you know, it's—it's it's a tough game. And, and for him to move on, I, you know, I, if he can find something else to do and to keep him happy, then I think he should. You know, he's done everything that he possibly can do. He doesn't owe anything to to the sport. He doesn't owe anything to the fans. And, and there, there's nothing left for him to accomplish. Um, but but then again, I'm not here to run anybody out. You know, if he wants to ride, I'm, I can't. You know. If someone that want, you know wants me, to, that's the whole thing about this is you can't be, you can't be scared of competition. I mean, you know, I, I you know, I got second today, but yeah, you know, you know there's gonna be a little, little uh, asterisk that you know James wasn't riding or that you know whatever, you know. So, I, I hope he does whatever he, he, he can, you know, wants to do. You know, I don't, I don't hate him for running a half, a half season. You know, I, I don't think he owes anyone anything for doing that. Uh, I'm not in that position right now. I, I haven't been as su successful as him, obviously. Um, but when my day comes, it'll be obvious, and I will I will step back. You know, I got at least one more year on my deal. Uh, it's a, for a full season, of course. And uh, after that, who knows? You know, I gotta I gotta have something else to do because you know this is all I've ever done. You know, and I am starting to talk to people. You know, like hey, what's next for for me? You know, with some of my sponsors, I've been around forever. You know, um, got some great opportunities to go drive uh, NASCAR at the end of this year. You know, with with a new No Fear picking up his team and. That's just going to be a fun, fun deal for me, you know. But it's, it's an opportunity, and I look forward to it. Um, who knows what will come of it? I'm, I'm not going to be the next NASCAR driver. You know, there's a lot of steps you got to take to get into that program for sure. You know, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to do something. I can't retire and just, just go back. You know, this is all I know. Racing, uh, specifically motocross. You know, I can transfer that over into some other form of racing. Hopefully, that would be cool or, or something in the industry. But I mean, you just don't. You know, sure, when I was three, it was a blast. When I was six, it was a blast. But somewhere in that time, you know, and it was definitely before I turned pro, it becomes work. I'm not, uh, I don't feel like I lost out on anything by uh, by taking the road I did. But it, I guess the point is is that I don't know anything else. And if I just didn't have a, a good job to be passionate about, uh, I'd probably go nuts.